Hello everyone, hello and welcome back to the channel, Fur Times a Charm. Today we're going to talk about Pink Floyd's animals. But I know this video has been a long time coming. These past few months have been absolutely crazy and I'm going to make a separate video and try and you know, explain what's going on. And hopefully someone understands. But I've changed my camera direction. So right now the camera stand is on top of the record player. It's got a dust protection anyway. The reason why, it's now higher than my line of sight if that makes sense so I'm not like this <laughs> sometimes when I film looking that way I'm a bit scrunched up and I mean I've lost a lot of weight I've lost a good two stone on my diet but I still have a double chin and this is less of a double chin anyway so Pink Floyd's Animals now after Wish You Were Here there's that's when the cracks in Pink Floyd's armour starts showing and there, there are two accounts of what was going on Roger Waters will tell you that none of the other band members were bringing up ideas anymore. And he felt like he was becoming, you know, the, the, the main part of Pink Floyd, writing all the songs, doing all the vocals and all this. Whereas the rest of the band will tell you that Roger Waters had become a control freak and he was becoming really difficult to work with. That was kind of the, the rifts forming in the band, especially between Roger Waters and Richard Wright. And unfortunately, I think it's either after this album or during the recording of The Wall of Richard Wright would be kicked out. Or I think he might... Did he leave? Or they, he, he was out the band. He might have left. I think he was kicked out. But uh, yeah, so, you know, it was really turbulent times and they were struggling to come up, bleh, come up with ideas. And then Roger Waters was reading George Orwell's Animal Farm, which is... A book about class systems and that would give um, Roger Waters the inspiration for animals. Now this album is all about class systems and politics and so you've got the big fat the fat pigs at the top with uh, three, bleh, three different ones and then you've got the dogs in the middle and the sheep at the bottom so the pigs are using the dogs to keep the sheep in check that's what the song Dogs is about, which we'll get into. And then Pigs on the Wing is an amazing song. But anyway, I'm not really going to go too much into the class systems and all that stuff because I don't really understand it. I'm a simple man. I like the music. I don't get into politics that much. But I'll try and explain it the best I can. But anyway, uh, the looks... been doing these videos for two years and now it's been two months without doing a proper vinyl review I'm, I'm out of practice but so this album this is uh is it Battersea Power Station I want to say I believe it's called Battersea Power Station and it's just outside London and then of course you've got the famous pig balloon which they used on their tours but also they had a trained marksman on site to shoot the pig down but one day the pig got loose, it broke free and flew off into other neighbouring city, which is hilarious. Um, but yeah, so it was a really turbulent time trying to take the picture because on the first day the pig flew off and then they were trying to get the pig just right. Uh, but the idea of having a marksman on site to shoot a big balloon pig is hilarious. Uh, but Pink Floyd, their live shows were famous for all these theatrics and the extra special effects, the lights, the smoke. And for the animals tour, they had these giant uh, balloon animals, which is cool. But it's a really, really uh, imposing album cover. Like, you get the sense of the album in the, the picture. You can also do this for, like, the full picture, which is really cool. And then, of course, I love these photos that are black and white. That looks really, you know, it's really aesthetically pleasing. And it goes with the music on the album. So I won't show the label, because the label, actually is it? I think it's got its own, oh that's got its own label. So you've got dogs on one side, and then you've got your pigs. Is that pigs? Well pigs and sheep on the other side. And I like this lyric Steve, that's cool. But it's a really nice album cover, and honestly it's legendary. Uh, for most people, or at least a lot of people I've seen, this is their favourite Pink Floyd album. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's absolutely brilliant. So let's talk about that in the looks. Just occur. I just uh, I meant the songs. I meant the songs that happen sometimes. So the album is bookmarked by P. 
pigs on the wing. So there's pigs on the wing one and pigs on the wing two. Now there's a YouTube video. Um, you can hear the, the full song together with a guitar solo. So maybe it just wouldn't fit on the album where they had to split it up. But anyway, they're both about a uh, one minute long. And I love the little uh, bird sound effects in the background. And the first song, or Pigs on the Wing Part 1, is Roger Waters singing about his girlfriend. And it's all about what if we broke up? You know, what if things didn't work out? It's all doom and gloom and, oh God, you know. And then Pigs on the Wing 2, which closes the album, is the, the flip opposite of that. You know, everything's okay and you've really helped me. And it's a really beautiful song. I love the guitar, the acoustic guitar. And it's just a, it's a pretty bookmark. It's a great way to start and close your album. And then side one is mostly taken up by the 17 minute epic Dogs. Dogs is amazing. And it's all about these, uh, well, it's all about the dogs, the security guards, the police. The, the army, those who are keeping the sheep in check, and those who are dragged down by the stone. I love, love the guitar solo about Midway, and I love the way it all flows from, you know, through verse to verse to chorus, and all the way through this 17-minute song. There's not a lot of bands out there that can make a 17-minute song interesting, you know. And I know a lot of bands in the 70s were doing these longer songs, but Pink Floyd and Yes... Are the only, the only like a. I have to cut. Oh, fuck you. Sorry, everyone. Uh, Pink Floyd and Yes are the only two bands that could really do these seventeen-minute songs, in my opinion. But and I love the the closing bridge that you were dragged down by the stone. You were kicked out. And actually, what are the lyrics? Hold on. <laughs> I, I can't remember the lyrics. So, oh, who was born in a house full of pain? Who was trained not to spit in the rain? Who was told what to do by the man? Who was broken by trained personnel? Who was fitted with collar and chain? Who was given a seat in the stand? So it's all about uh, these people that were plucked out of society and they were trained, they were forced to become these dogs and keep the sheep in check. It's just, it's a brilliant song. And pigs, so side two, I get ahead of myself. A uh, pigs, three different ones, is a really, really, um, a really catchy song. I love the chorus. Ah ha, charade you are. Um, and I love the lyrics about the White House and hey, you White House, ah ha, charade you are. You house proud town mouse. You're trying to keep our feelings off the street. It's a, it is a good song, but I have to be honest with you, it's not one of my favourite Pink Floyd songs. Uh, but Sheep, the next song, is brilliant. I love Sheep. And I love the way they handle the chorus when Roger Waters, I think there might, maybe he's not on tune, but there's some sort of electronic inflection done to his voice. And the way it just sort of, it's just brilliant, the way it flows off like that on the chorus. Uh, what you do for getting protected, this is what, I can't even read. What do you get for pretending the danger's not real? Meek and obedient, you follow the leader. Down well-trodden corridors into the Valley of Steel. What a surprise. So it's, it's all about this, you know, the, the sheep who are just following uh, these leaders who are wrong and are leading the sheep to their deaths, to a slaughterhouse or something like that. And I love, again, the chorus is the best thing about the song. And it's on, honestly my favourite song on the album, just because the chorus makes it. It's superb. And then uh, Pigs on the Wing Part 2 is, uh, I already spoke about, but that's a good song. It's not like, I don't know, my favourite Pink Floyd album is obviously Wish You Were Here. That's why there isn't a video about it, and actually, I always take, got to take the opportunity to show off the tattoo. Huh. But then, then you've got The Wall that came after this, which is even more amazing than Animals, I mean. But I've never really, as much as I love this, I don't think it's very high on my Pink Floyd list. And I know that's probably controversial. But anyway, in conclusion. With all that said, it's still an 8 out of 10. It's still phenom phenomenal. Phenomenal. I can never say it right. But still, an 8 out of 10. It is, it's a superb album, but I've just never really... I guess because of like the political themes of the album, 
that's why it's never really spoke to me as much as wish you were here or uh i mean the war gets political as well but somehow the war means uh hits me more but anyway that's besides the point still amazing album and let me know if you love this album down below uh, thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon uh, i'm gonna start doing these reviews a lot more and they'll get better as i get back into them thanks for watching i love you all see you again soon <laughs>